there they are. This is for memories. Oh, there's Abby. Okay, and there's Jeremiah. And we're in now North Dakota, right? North Dakota, almost to South Dakota. Uh, we're going to Bruce's. Then we're going to... S oh, Autumn. Autumn, yeah, Autumn's with... There she is. Oh, there's the puppy. <laughs> anyway, so then we got Autumn. We're having fun and we're gonna go see uh, Nathan and Rebecca in South Dakota and hunt mule deer there. Then we're gonna hop the border, go to Montana and hunt mule deer. And if we're lucky, we might even get an elk or two. So that'd be epic. That would be epic. Anyways. All right, Jacob just shot his first clay pigeon. Now I'm gonna see if he follows up. So right away as we get in, we're already seeing deer. We get camp set up and we take Jeremiah over to this spot, Jeremiah and Sarah. This is a youth hunt in South Dakota. It's antlerless deer only. Uh, we have a lot of fun with it, but I really encourage you to get your kids in the, in the outdoors, experience these types of things. This is so much fun. Wait till it turns broadside, JD. Just wait till she's completely broadside. <coughs> get up, Sarah, get up. He smoked. Move past the porcupine. There's a porcupine. Right yeah, you're in it. Absolute shock to Sarah's system because she missed. She shot three deer before this. She has never missed. But Bruce and I, my friend, we were out doing long distance shooting in North Dakota, helping her to dial in. We could shoot out to 800 yards there. Well, we had left her scope on the wrong setting. So it was not her fault. And she got to learn, an uh, what do I want to say, a lesson in forgiveness towards her father on this one because she was perfect. She was batting a thousand. Uh, she will get a deer later in this video. You'll see a picture of Nate, uh, my son Jeremiah's deer here. And then Nathan gets to put on a sneak on a buck that he saw. There he goes. There's Nathan running, running. There's a buck on the other side of that ground. He's gonna go up, come in from behind, and uh, do his sneak. So he's making ground. Then just down the road, we spotted more deer, so the girls took off on a sneak there. Okay, so there's my daughters. And Rebecca's gonna take Sarah on a sneak. Although those two stocks were unsuccessful, they were fun. And the very next morning, we're all over deer. Now, what's interesting is I live in northern Minnesota, and we used to be in what's called a management zone where we were able to take a few deer, three deer, because we had enough deer around. And we were always seeing deer, able to hunt. The kids had a blast. But then things switched in Minnesota. Now, the DNR will tell you all kinds of things, but the real fact of the matter is we have a significant wolf population. We're seeing wolves all the time, and this is in real wooded areas where you're not able to climb up to these big vistas and see far. And we're seeing woods, wolves in the woods, 
and deer kills, all of this, we have no wolf management because of a judge in D.C. saying that somehow this is a separate subspecies of wolves that are somehow need to be protected when we have the highest population of wolves in the lower 48 here in Minnesota. It's a sad state of affairs. Our deer hunting in northern Minnesota sucks, and the DNR keeps telling us it's for other reasons, but every one of us can see the empirical evidence up here. I see one, two, deer right there on them. I've got six, 402. You see there's a fork, fork rack here. See it? I thought that might have been a buck before. No, that's three. He's a three by three. He's a decent little buck. Oh, there's one still way down low in there, Jeremiah. Look at that. All those others are up, and there's that one way down low. It's like a nice little yearling down low. This stock was taking a while, so I stopped the phone just to kind of gather where they were, and immediately then Sarah shoots. Now you'll see the deer running. Here's right there. I see it. Come on, some action scenes here. Let's go. Look at that. It's brother and sister power. <laughs> what? Sibling power. Sibling power. <laughs> That's a good workout. Yeah, yeah. Woo. After filling both of the kids' tags, my son Nathan still had a bow tag. He's now a South Dakota resident, so we're going to see some of that. But we decided to have some fun around camp, and our dog did something crazy. So, we are going live right now. This is Sarah, and that is my adorable dog, Autumn, who yesterday saw a bird flying down here in this canyon thingy. So she ran and took a flying leap right off the side down to where my little brother Jacob is. So we're down at the bottom. She jumped off up there, landed somewhere down here. The downhill momentum probably helped because she probably just hit the ground ran a bit, but she probably hit somewhere down here. Cause like I said before, she leaped off of that. And well, she's fine. Crazy, terrifying to watch. Okay, so out on the field, we have Abby the Amazing, Autumn Outfielder, and Jacob, uh, that kid. That kid. So, Jacob was gonna throw the pine cone, I was gonna hit the pine cone with her metal bar bat, and Autumn is going to catch the pine cone. Hopefully. <laughs> Nathan is standing up to the plate. This hill country is so beautiful and we saw a nice little buck and Nathan wanted to go after it with his bow. And so we had to come all the way around behind and then come up and over to find it. I think 
Jeremiah and I still had tags for Montana because we had combo tags. We went elk hunting out there. So we crossed the border into Montana. I was able to get my first sharp tail and we were able to fill another mule deer tag. We were on that knob right there, right, Sarah? Yeah. We were on that knob right there. Right, right in the middle. Yep. And I was coming up, and we were just kind of sneaking around looking for her there. And I saw one bedded way down there. She was about 156 yards out. And so then I shot her. I shot her. And uh, she just never moved from her bed. Now we've got Autumn. You know, we took Autumn on a stock with us. You know, on a leash. Very, I mean, just unusual. Okay. But that dog is so awesome. We're so glad we had him on our trip. And now some sharp tail had flown up over here. And watch this wonder dog work. Because she's amazing. Alright. Let her loose. Let her loose, Abby. No, let her loose. Off the leash. Hey, Sarah. Hey, Abby. So, came up to my deer, which was bedded and, you know, bedded parallel. So I basically had to uh, head shoot it. So we're not gonna show um, the deer because it doesn't look so, so great. But that deer never felt a thing, never got out of its bed. I mean, it was just over. And Autumn, Autumn's happy. Look at Autumn. Hey, Autumn. And Jacob. What do you think? Mm. And Jeremiah's right there. He's up yeah. next. This mm. thing's tougher than chewing on sticks. It is. It is pretty tough. Do you want it? I want it. I have one. I'll eat all of them. Mm. I gotta pack it up those hills back there. I gotta pack this meat out. It's gonna be great. This is the way it's supposed to be done. Like you go back in, into the hill country, you get your deer and then you gotta quarter it up and pack it out. I just love it this way, I love it. All right, we're hiking out. There's the crew, Jeremiah's got meat. I'm loaded down with guns. We're climbing up, you can see. So, successful, successful. I love it, I love it. There he is. Jeremiah Johnson, mountain man. Doing the work. I, I think we cut over, but... Yeah, right down here. This. Right down here. 